SpongeBob, look what I got for Christmas. Uh, SpongeBob, are you okay? Holy Neptune, he's entered a self-induced coma. The last game gave him PTSD. Stand back, I know how to get him out of it. With a little ketamine. Okay, SpongeBob, this will be just like taking a Flintstone vitamin. No, he doesn't need ketamine. He needs Firefighter Squidward. Oh, nice shot, Squidward. Now, <gasps> come on, SpongeBob, snap out of it. Stop being lazy. Go play Nick Kart Racers 2. I'm in it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, come on, SpongeBob, play it already. There's two. <laughs> yep, another one. All right, so this sequel actually hasn't really snuck up on me. It released back in October, so I know quite a bit about it already just from seeing various things online. And apparently Target leaked the game before it was even officially announced. I don't know how that happened. Some kind of inventory leak or something? Nice going, Target. But I've only seen images. I still have never played it, so I don't actually know how the game is. Is it better than the first one? I mean, remember how unpolished the first one is. Just... Just look at this. I don't know if this is just the Switch version that looks like this, but you can't really call this polish. Especially with Squidward just appearing out of thin air like that. I used to be front and center on the cover, see? I was the main character. And now, pushed aside. A background character. Is Loud House really more popular than my show? Well, time to rebrand. Move on over, guys, because I'm joining you at the bottom of the gutter. It feels so sad being down here. It wins in terms of presentation on the case, but I'm stalling. How's the gameplay? What? Ghost Shield? Is this a haunted cartoon? Oh, whoa. Seizure warning! Look away if you have epilepsy. Well, this is definitely an improvement over last loading screen. Sheesh. I'm kind of salty that I'm not even present. Is this how it feels to be like everyone else? Huh? W what's this? T tutorial Okay. Well, hey, I'm at least I'm myself. Uh, uh, okay. R to drive, L to steer. Yeah, that's a start. I'm not a Loud House character. Nickelodeon hasn't forgot about me yet. I haven't entered the realm of irrelevancy quite yet. Oh, that was it? Huh. Well, taught me everything I need to know, apparently. All right, I'm ready. Put me in the Grand Prix. No, we're doing the hardest difficulty. I'm ready. What more do I possibly have to learn? I mean, I did the tutorial. Ooh, new stages. Bossing say, I'm not trying to be hypnotized. You know where I really want to go? Omashu. I mean, come on. Who didn't see those 100 foot drops of hard stone that scream death and not want to ride down them? Earthbending brings the packages up. And gravity brings them down. I'd pay money to ride a go-kart down one of those. Overall, seems like a pretty good pick on stages. I appreciate in this sequel how they're more keen on referencing specific areas and shows. Like Glove World, Atlantis, Goo Lagoon. We got Bikini Bottom in the first one, which was nice, but Bikini Bottom's kind of a staple in every SpongeBob game. You see it all the time. And that's just touching on the SpongeBob ones. I feel like everyone gets good representation here. Okay, I just had to praise these tracks because I didn't really feel too strongly about them in the first one, so I never really mentioned them. Let me finally just pick a cup. Ooh, now that is quality. That looks like a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe mod. It looks so good. Although, come on, that's a, that's a boat mobile. That's not a cart. How can I drive it? I don't have a license. Oh, I digress. It, it, at least it makes more sense than a baby driving a car. Also, let's not ignore the fact that Patrick actually gets his car that he had in the episode Driven to Tears. I mean, fine, I guess you could say he technically had it in the first one too, but like, what is this metal jutting out with the tires? Also, since the game creators study the show so hard and know every aspect of it, um, can we get the race car bed for DLC? Please. What? She just pulls out a book while driving? There's maybe a suicide emo joke in there. Ha, <laughs> I wonder why they put Squidward so low on this list. What? what? Squ Squidward? No. No! Where is he? I was promised Squidward! Oh, heck no. Heck no. Move over! Ooh. No. No, they didn't do me dirty like this! They, they couldn't have! Again? No! It can't be true! Dan Schneider couldn't have screwed me over for the second time! I gotta be in there! They can't see real talent if it hit them with all six of these tentacles! You know what these tentacles do be good for, though? <laughs> 
driving? Do I have to ski my way over to Nickelodeon to make them realize that they miss true talent? They about to get a visit from Squidward Tentacle. They're gonna regret the day they were born. They're about to realize the true talent of Squidward. You realize you are in the game, right? You're just locked. Oh. Why couldn't we have just played like Among Us or something? Isn't that what all the cool kids are playing? Why are we stuck playing this? Squidward, me boy, this is a fine craft of a game. Don't be salty because you're not in it. Mr. Krabs, you realize you're not playable like at all, right? I'm off to play a real game. Okay, but seriously, I mostly played this because I heard Squidward was in it. Why is Plankton in here? He's a support character. Interesting. Anyways, let me, before I start to unlock Squidward, let me just do a practice match. I haven't even played this game yet. Also, I gotta represent everyone's favorite wallaby. What's the wallaby to do now? Vroom. Wow, it actually fits. We're racing through a track from Rocco's Modern Life. I didn't even intend for that. <laughs> What's with the arm flailing? You okay there, buddy? How are you steering? Wait, bigger question. Why are there so many vending machines in the middle of nowhere? I don't remember. Update, I'm editing this, I watched the episode, basically, Rocco complains that there's all these vending machines and it feels like a mall when they're supposed to be camping. Hermetically sealed nourishment and food! Look guys, this isn't camping. It's more like walking around in a mall. Okay, so you grab these coins, your slime meter goes up, and you get that character special, whoever your secondary character is. I get these weird shells around me, I, I guess it's protection? Oh, this one's terrible. No one even hits me when I use it. This ain't protecting me for anything. You know what a good special would be? Unlocking Squidward. Oh, watch this. Dodge the gnome. Dodge the fish. Uh, ow. Go through the slime waterfall. And now... And there's a jellyfish coming for me. Activate special! Protect me, Shelbert Velvich! Oh! No! No! How? His special is horrible! What kind of it? What kind of protection is that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, it's the final lap. We can't afford to be doing this. Thanks for nothing, Filbert Shelbish. I hope I'm saying his name right. Actually, I, no. I hope I'm saying his name wrong. Like, what was that? I'm replacing him. Do I, do I have anything better? Why didn't I pick Plankton? He couldn't even protect me from the stank. It's okay, though. We're bringing it back. We're really not that far behind. Of course, no thanks to him. We're gonna have to do this on our lonesome, though. Cause he ain't helping. Oh. It's like the me cars. Mario Kart. They're just driving back and forth for no reason. Yeah, easy. Easy first. Last second. Last second. Oh. Look who it is. Look who it is. I feel like he's taunting us. Okay, he did pretty good for himself. Alright, alright. Yeah, those tentacles are good for driving. Slime is good for you. Man, get your fingers out of my face. Oh, we're playing that game. We're playing that game now. What kind of Easter egg is this? I didn't edit this. That's fake news. Unforgivable. <laughs> I don't want to see that. And now a pig's attacking me. Say no free ride. What is this, hall gracers? My dad exists. How fast is a pig? 11 mi- It's kind of fast. Not as fast as me though, we going way over the speed limit. We getting stupid. Also, look how beautiful they made Atlantis look. If only the episode was as good as it looks here. Okay, we're in first. We can clutch this. We're, we're doing good for ourselves. We got protection. Oh my- Did you see? <laughs> was that Squidward? Did he just use all four elements? Squidward. He's a master bender. He knows air bending, earth bending, fire bending, water bending. And now he's stink bending. Wait. He can water bend, but he lives in the ocean. He could kill everyone. Think of the potential. There's water everywhere. Okay. After that maneuver, I, I literally can't catch up. I don't know what to do. I, I can't water bend. Wait, this might be it. Come on, bounce. <gasps> what? Oh, no. <laughs> No, that was it. We were literally right there. Oh, that could have worked. He blocked it with his earth bending. What? He has more points than me now. First, I can't play as him. And now he's beating me. Just because I don't even have access to him. And he's still beating me. 
Bruh. Look at him showing off. With his Jimmy Choo's on. Wait, is it actually raining on him? That's kind of depressing. Poor Rocco, he's in a sticky situation. Poor Rocco, he's in a sticky situation now. He got second. Do I, do I, do I have to watch this? He's full of himself. He's the last airbender and he knows it. Can you believe that was my first match besides the tutorial? And I lost to Squidward, who I was trying to play as? Okay, Squidward's obviously the Funky Kong of this game. You get it if you get it. Will you keep it quiet over there? I'm trying to meditate. Don't you know I'm the next Avatar? Okay, sorry. Why is it taunting me with this gold shiny trophy? I got second. Shouldn't I be getting silver? Oh, now we're talking. Now that's a good support character right there. Why are these like spirits from World of Light? I'm just harvesting their abilities as if they were a spirit. I have Mr. Krabs' spirit. Man, he's been getting old. He was about to die anyway. I'm taking my ketamine to my deathbed, bucko! Okay, I'm gonna check out challenges. I heard you could unlock some characters from it. It's a new mode. I haven't tried it before. Oh, there he is! Okay, I'm satisfied. Oh, I get to play as him! Finally! He looks amazing. Way better than that Mario Kart 8 mod, actually. It's official. I got the Funky Kong and Nickelodeon Kart Racers too. So I'm playing as him, but I clearly don't have him unlocked officially yet. Do I unlock him if I finish this? If I win this event? Okay, let's get it. Wow, first time seeing Glove World. Oh my! This is heaven! Look at all those bald heads! It's a plethora of Squidwards, or should I say, plethora of avatars. This ain't the last airbender. This is at least eight airbenders. You know when you go online on Mario Kart Wii and everyone is Funky Kong? There's at least five Funky Kongs in your lobby. I imagine that's how this online game is. You can't go online without seeing everyone as Squidward. It's the only way to win, clearly. Even the CPUs know. I like how we're all just bunched together, third, second, first. Easy. What? What kind of shield was that? That was way better than whatever I was using. All right, easy, easy. I stay in first. Use that Mr. Krabs money. Oh, that was it? That was easy. See, I'm King Squidward. Oh, come on, Squidward! Pearl, I got you baited. Wow, there is a lot to do in this new mode. That's a lot of challenges and a lot of characters. I want to unlock all the characters, not just Squidward. Here's what's going to happen. Like this video if you want part two, because there's a lot to unpack here. It's going to take a while.